published by South China Morning Post on November 24, 2023. China's smartphone market saw a 5% bump in sales volume during the country's Singles Day shopping festival, driven by demand for handsets from local tech champion Huawei Technologies, while Apple saw a dip in the number of iPhones sold during the campaign. Huawei's volume surged 66% during the two-week sales period of Singles Day, China's biggest annual shopping extravaganza that ran from late October through November 11, while Apple saw a 4% decline, according to a report by CounterPoint Research on Friday. The recent launch of Huawei's Mate 60 series 5G phones, as well as the popularity of its older 4G models, helped boost the company's sales, but the stellar growth rate was measured against a low base in 2022 when COVID restrictions were still in place in China, counterpoint analyst Archie Zhang noted. Local rival Xiaomi recorded a 28% rise in the number of handsets sold during the sales period, while Huawei's spin-off brand Honor posted 11% growth during the period. However, Apple still led smartphone makers in terms of overall market share, followed by Xiaomi and Honor. Huawei ranked fourth on the back of its strong growth. The sales figures for Singles Day will boost confidence for positive fourth quarter results, CounterPoint said, as they followed a strong performance by Huawei, Xiaomi and Honor in October. Huawei's surprise launch of its Mate 60 series, powered by an advanced, locally-made Kirin 9000's processor, was a bright spot in the Chinese smartphone market, which recorded a narrower decline in overall third-quarter sales. Eight weeks since its launch in August, the Mate 60 series has recorded 2.4 million units in domestic sales volume, according to earlier CounterPoint data. The popularity of Huawei has cut into the market share of Apple, which launched its iPhone 15 series in September. During the Singles Day campaign, Apple's sales improved, but it still faced supply chain issues, according to CounterPoint analyst Ivan Lam. The success of Xiaomi 14, the latest model introduced by the Beijing-based company last month, also intensified domestic competition with Apple and Huawei. Xiaomi founder and CEO Lei Jun said on social media that Xiaomi 14 unit sales surpassed 1 million in less than two weeks, and that they faced a severe shortage of supply. In the run-up to the November 11 sales extravaganza, the iPhone 15 series was subject to steep discounts on Chinese e-commerce websites, a rarity for Apple which usually exerts tight control over the retail pricing of its products. Published by Nikkei Asia on November 24, 2023. Huawei Technologies is increasingly sourcing components for its smartphones in China, with a teardown of the recently released Mate 60 Pro showing Chinese parts constituting 47% on a value basis up 18 percentage points from a model analyzed three years ago. Nikkei, together with research firm Fomalhaut Techno Solutions, disassembled Huawei's high-end smartphone to analyze component costs. The Mate 60 Pro was released in August for the Chinese market. The manufacturer of each component was identified, with the share of overall cost calculated by country. The teardown shows that China has made rapid technological advances, including semiconductors using 7 nanometer production technology, since the US intensified export restrictions on cutting edge equipment and software in 2019. Fomalhaut estimated the total cost of Mate 60 Pro parts at $422. In terms of share by country, China led at 47%. The Chinese smartphone maker's percentage of domestically made components climbed by 18 points from the similarly priced Mate 40 Pro launched in fall 2020, when the impact of US sanctions was still limited. The increased share of Chinese components resulted largely from Huawei switching suppliers for the organic light-emitting diode display the phone's costliest component from South Korea's LG display to BOE Technology Group. BOE is making inroads into the smartphone display market dominated by LG and Samsung Electronics with a reputation for quality, but it lags in terms of mass production capacity. The question is the extent to which BOE will be able to supply Huawei when its shipment volume recovers, Fomalhaut CEO Minate Cashio said. Touch panel components for the Mate 40 Pro were supplied by US developer Synaptics, but Huawei turned to Chinese parts for the Mate 60 Pro. The value of Chinese-made components for the Mate 60 Pro totaled $198, up roughly 90% compared with the Mate 40 Pro. Upon release, market observers speculated that the Mate 60 Pro was compatible with the 5G high-speed communication standard and that the Chinese-made semiconductor used 7 nanometers technology. 
With these semiconductors previously made only by major chipmakers in Taiwan, South Korea, and the US, it was thought Chinese companies would have difficulty developing them. The 5 nanometer semiconductor used in the May 40 Pro were designed by Huawei subsidiary High Silicon Technologies, but production was outsourced to Taiwan's semiconductor manufacturing company. Based on the teardown, Fomalhaut concluded that the Mate 60 Pro uses a 7 nanometers chip designed by High Silicon and manufactured by China's Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corp. SMIC is believed to have used older equipment not covered by U.S. export regulations for semiconductor lithography, a key step of the manufacturing process. By overlapping the light multiple times while slightly shifting the position of the substrate, circuits equivalent to 7 nanometers products can be formed on a silicon wafer even with older equipment, Casio said. Apple iPhones were first equipped with 7 nanometers chips in 2018. It was said that China's own technology would be seven years behind, but it's a surprise that they caught up in five years, Casio said. The share of Japanese components in the Mate 60 Pro came to 1%, shrinking from 19% in the Mate 40 Pro. Huawei changed the supplier of the camera image sensor from Sony Group to Samsung. The share of South Korean parts increased 5 points to 36%.